Hey everybody, the Retwiral here, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. So, I think what I said I was going to do is see Ramanus Polis, or go and see him first, before I do anything else. We may also be able to do that thingy-majig for Irana. I don't remember what spell that is. I've switched controllers as well, so the right bumper for this controller is really quiet because it doesn't click for some reason. It still works, but doesn't click. And it doesn't have the the analog stick sticking to the left either, which is awesome. So I'll probably just use this until I get the same problem. Uh, I'm trying to find my taxidermist, but I don't know where the fuck she is. Now she isn't over there. Basement? No. Oh, I'm stupid. It's right here. Wow. I forgot. Hello. Can I help you? Yes. What is it, Sarah? Uh, create a trophy. What can I do for you? The Imagine Lion. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'll just take this from you and get to work. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. Can do. So it'll probably be... That'll probably be ready by the time... The session's over. Or, that's what I'm hoping. I also think Irana will be... Will be able to talk to her, because I've done quite a bit since. Like, I think... The Coral Quest I did fairly early on. And... I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I did, like, the Coral... The Coral Mages Guild Quest, like, really early on. So I don't know. I'm also tempted on going back to Frostcrag Spire uh, in order to just create a healing spell because I don't know if the one I'm using is very good. It might be actually. So I think I've got Restoration of 50. So uh, it, may, it, it might be okay. <laughs> I'm not too sure though. Do do. Okay. I was certain you could sell your stolen goods too shops you invested in, but I guess not. I still find it pretty cool that we've basically completed the Thieves Guild in terms of selling stolen goods right off the bat because because of the oh that item we stole from the two brawlers in the Imperial arena. Yeah, there were like the hands of Liu Kang, which I know is a Mortal Kombat character, but whatever. Hello, my little friend. I have something that might interest you. Yes. I've committed most of the book to memory, but I took the time to write down a passage you might find useful. It contains instructions for acquiring a very special power. You'll want to read it carefully and then return to Cloud Top. Sweet. I consider this to be more than a worthy reward for your help. I believe you'll agree, assuming you're careful. Hmm. Take care. I shall. I'll read that right now. Where is it? Here it is. Irana's notes. My dear helper, most of the text you've given me is well beyond your comprehension, I'm afraid. I found one section, however, that had been appended by the keepers of the Imperial Watch, and their notes will be of use to you. Return to the ruins of Cloud Top. There you should find a section of pillar that looked remarkably unlike any other stonework present. Carvings on this pillar were made by the Aeliads. The pillar has been infused with significant power. The following was scribbled in the margins of the book, presumably by the same men who took the pillar from its original resting place. The notes are smeared in places, so I have included what I could decipher. Do note this sounds rather dangerous, and take whatever precautions you feel are necessary. Okay, so only seems to function outdoors, where it reacts strongly to magic. Terrible power capable of striking a man dead on the spot. Transported the stone to a secure location in order to study it more fully. Guild wizards brought in a focused power of stone, several severely injured. Stone finally tuned to react to shock magic. Wilkins stone necessary to harness stone's power. Success means power of shock unattainable through other means. From these notes and the original Aeliad inscriptions, it seems that the, our Imperial friends were attempting to harness some degree of the Aeliad's magical power. 
were marginally successful, I suggest you procure a Wilkin stone for yourself. Searching Iliad runes will likely be the quickest method of acquiring one. And return to Cloud Top and to cast a shock spell at the pillar. What happens then, I think you can comprehend on your own. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yes, yes, this is. It is a very powerful spell, and that is why I wanted to uh, do this quest, because that's your reward, an incredibly powerful spell. It might even be one that's so powerful that I can't use it. I'm hoping not, but it might be. But the reason, like, there's the charred remains is because they tried harnessing the power, and what happened was it, it does this, which you're going to see right now. I need to find one. And it is a very powerful, like, blast that hits you. I don't know if it will kill me. I may have to just... Here we go. I may just have to save, just in case. Where, where the heck are we? Uh, not that. Oh, wait, no, that's my other save. Whatever. Um... I don't know why the hell it was taking so long, it's over that one I want to save. Here it goes! I was struck by lightning and, and have been granted a powerful new spell. Holy crap, that takes off quite a bit. What is that spell? Oh, it's heal major wounds. Okay, that's actually a pretty good one. I think. Wait a minute, heal major, 25 points. It's better than minor, it's not as good as superior. Oh yeah, we got the fingers of the mountain, didn't we? So just how powerful is that spell? <laughs> well... That's probably going to be one that we'll never be able to use. Maybe. I'd need a shitload of magic buffs, that's for certain. Or just one huge magic buff. 200 points in 10 feet on target. That's insanely powerful. But my god, that's costly. I think it's level based just how much magic it requires. Jesus. Worth it. <laughs> Because we may actually be able to use it one day. Just one day. Yeah, we'll go to the Arcane University, and then we'll proceed to rank up. Then I might do the other two guilds and rank up in them. I don't know which ones I've got left. No, not two guilds, there's three, isn't there? Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, and then the Arena. What is it, citizen? He's a battle mage. Um, I think we'll be all right. I, I'm pretty sure we'll rank up. Hello, associate. It seems you've obtained the final recommendation you required. Mm-hmm. Recommend. Ooh, hello. What? Can oh, I've already bought off you. Recommendation. I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. You've done well for yourself. You may now enter the university as a full-fledged member of the Mages Guild. I now also promote you to the rank. Of apprentice and grant you the robe of the apprentice. Yeah. Take a moment and try it on. Then we shall speak of what comes next for you. Alright, so we've done the Mages Guild. Well, the first proper quest for it, I guess. If I just go to my factions, they're not known as guilds, but they're called guilds. I don't get it. Right, so we've got Apprentice, I may have to get like a list of their, um, of the rankings, because I don't know where I stand. Apprentice I know is not the lowest, Murderer is, Pickpocket is, Apprentice might be. No, Apprentice is the second one, the first one was Associate, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because we did the guild... That quest where we went into the mines and helped out. So I guess we'll do the next quest for the Thieves Guild won't be available until 12am. So 
I may as well go to the Dark Brotherhood. And, uh, see what lies in wake. Ah, oh, I remember. The first couple of quests for this are actually really cool. I'm pretty sure one requires us to go to the Imperial Sea anyway. To do something. What that something is, we will find out. But, yeah, I like, I think, I don't really know which guild I like the most out of all of them, to be honest. They're all really good. They all have their upsides and their downsides, I'd say. Okay. To the abandoned house. I'm glad I run quickly. <gasps> yeah. Okay, in we go. The only problem with the Dark Brotherhood is getting into the guild is really annoying to begin with, because you've got to go through this house, into the abandoned basement, then through that door with the hand on it, and then you're in the guild, whereas later within this quest line there's a shortcut that gets unlocked for you. I think it's once you've finished with... uh... Vicente, with all his quests, all his dealings. And I also found out, if you kill this skeleton thing, um, you get kicked out of the guild. <laughs> I didn't find that out in this game, I just found out from my own experimenting. Playing the game, like, religiously. There's also a shortcut here. The most pointless shortcut you can ever find. Hello. Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. Mm -hmm. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. Right. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. Sure thingy. Contract. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold and we remove someone from existence. Oh. The contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself. Who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. Right. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? But of course. I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, oh, yes. But you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? But of course. Yes, I'll accept this contract. Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaud. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaud in any manner you see fit. The mm -hmm. pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. I've never done that, ever. Like, even when I used to play the game, or when I'd never done these quests before, I never asked my guild members what the fuck I needed to do, or for any additional information on the current contract, because, I don't know, I just never really thought I needed to. So I was like, fuck it, I can't be bothered. So we're going after Gaston. Gaston Toussaud. Sounds French. Don't really know why, just does. Yo! You are Argonian, yes, but you are no shadow scale. What chaos you must have known as a hatchling. Thanks, Sithis, you have come home at last. Welcome. Welcome. Damn it, he gives you a fucking quest. It might be when you're higher ranked, which bloody sucks. Whoa! There you are. Welcome, welcome. Jesus Christ, he's shiny. <laughs> shiny. That was an interesting encounter. Okie dokie. Yeah, I did, I did mention about the Imperial City. I didn't think it was the first quest, but... Or the first contract. But whatever. <laughs> I'll do it. It's all fun anyway. I think it's the next the next contract is what I thought was the first contract. Yeah. Pretty sure anyway. Come on. Come on. Load you piece of shit. 
I might actually look at my current quests as well. So, I'm thinking what I might do before.